Now I'm going to do the leather and I'm going to do it in this brown color instead of black so you can see that the technique works for any color. So the first step I want to do is to block off the areas that are going to be highlighted. Um, so areas that are coming towards me, the arm, the top arm here, and I don't want to plan it too evenly. There'll be a highlight here on the collar and then maybe here at the lapel on that side and a little bit on this side. <clears throat> the bust area will be highlighted, maybe there, the hip, maybe in this direction, um, some here, and maybe also here. So I'm doing the jacket and the areas that I did little triangles are the areas that I'm gonna work color around. So I'm plotting out the highlighted areas in pencil. And then now I can go and color the base color, <clears throat> which I think is this one, all around the highlighted areas. So I have the collar here the sleeve. Again, it's not planned out evenly. And you still want to also, your styling lines, you also don't want to color all over those either. So I forgot to mention, so with leather, it's a skin. If you're working with an actual real leather, it's from an animal, so it can be a lamb, or it can be a cow, or it can be a pig. But that means that there's a limit to how wide of a pattern piece you're going to have based on the animal that you're using. So a lot of times with leather, you'll have seam lines, and that's added so that you're not working with one, too long of a piece because you need to fit and you're going in sizes. So you gotta make sure that your pattern pieces will fit on that skin, whether it's a lamb or a pig or a cow. So I made some lines going across the sleeve because I would divide that area up. I made a line going across at the waist because that would divide that area up. Um, and again, it, particularly when you get into the larger sizes, you're gonna need to divide those areas so they'll fit on the skin. That's what also adds to the cost of the garment as well, in addition to the skin. Um, so now this one I'm gonna use for shadow area, so I'm going a little darker on those areas, so at the front edge where it overlaps, where the sleeve overlaps, maybe behind the collar here, all those, where the arm bends, see the pocket, flap around the pocket. But again, I wanna keep the highlighted area. So I've added here another color that's showing where the shadows are gonna be. Now I'll take my color pencil to do those horizontal lines. So I'm going horizontal in the highlighted areas because I want it to look like it has the watermark. So I'm adding those marks randomly around. And again, we're working in a much smaller area. So it gets very small. Okay. So I did some random horizontal lines in those highlighted areas. Then I'll take my blender marker and I'll blend it keeping in mind those horizontal patterns. So I'll blend out, and I'm also looking at my design details, making sure I don't cover those areas. All 
right? So this is how it starts to look when you are working on an actual garment here. I'm at a croquis versus the testing. So there are my highlighted areas and I'm showing the contrast with those horizontal lines. And then I'll go ahead and ink that in and maybe add some more shadow to it. So I will come back to you after that.